Hey guys, welcome back. Hopefully at this point you all have some videos and memberships in place on your website. In this video I'm going to go over customizing the look of the site, customizing your player along with some buttons and colors and everything. The first thing I want to do is talk about this slider that's on the home page here. To get started you can either click on this button here or you go to your WordPress admin area and go to the slider manager. From here you can say add new slider give it a title, I'm just going to call this one home and say save title and then you want to add a new slide I'm going to edit this, I'm not going to worry about this stuff right now, I'm going to say tiers of steel description I'm just going to copy and paste that in there this link text, this is actually the, the text of the button so I'm just going to say watch now then you can select pages, categories, posts, video categories, or videos directly. And what this will do, you'll see is, I'm going to choose Tears of Steel. It will automatically fill this link, and you just want to leave that as it is. Give it an image. The images for the slide should be, at the very least, 1,200 pixels wide, if not bigger. Try and make them all the same size or your slider height is going to be jumping around a bit. So I'm going to select this one and say save. I'm also going to make a slide for agent. Agent 57. Now what you need to do is go to your home page and you need to do this for the slide to show up and click edit. And right on the right side here you see choose slider, you want to select home, that's the one you just created and say update. Now return to your home page, give it a refresh and you should see your images, your title, description and the watch now and you'll see that it actually goes through each one and of course you can add more slide more slides if you want if you click on the watch now it will take you right to the video now what I want to show you guys is actually customizing the colors of your theme so under appearance you want to go to customize and from here you can go to site identity and I am going to select a logo to upload. I'm going to upload this one. And this logo has a background. I mean, obviously yours shouldn't. You want a PNG transparent background, but I'm just going to leave that there for now. You go back. I'm going to go to colors. And you'll notice that right now the theme is very dark. It has a dark background buttons are red. I'm going to change this to a light theme. Now you will see that everything has become white. I'm going to go to this video to show you what the video page looks like. Everything is now white. The accent color is the red that you see, so I'm going to make it blue. And I'm going to copy this hex code color I'll show you why in a second here. I'm going to say save and publish. Now I'm going to go back. I'm actually going to close out of the customizer. Now if you refresh your site, you should see your logo and a white styled theme. Now I'm going to go to a video. I'm just going to go to this one here. What I'm going to do now is you notice that this blue is not the same blue as this blue that I've just set my theme to. So what you can do is go to the WT video, WP Video Sync and go Player Design. 
And from here, you can actually choose to hide this stuff, adjust the colors. So I'm going to hide everything. And I'm going to copy and paste that hex code that I copied from the theme and paste it in there. I'm going to say preview. And you'll notice that these are no longer showing. The buttons colors now match my theme color. And I'm going to say update all videos. Then I'm going to refresh this page. And you'll notice that this player now has the right colors. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make a menu. So I'm going to go to Appearance, Menus. And I'm going to add a menu, just call it Main, Create Menu. And this part is important. You want to go to Screen Options and show Videos, Video Tags. This will show you links to your video categories and video tags if you've created any. You also want to mark videos. Miss that one. Then this will link to your videos. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add a link to the account page. I'm going to add a link to all the videos pages. So to do this, you actually want to go backslash videos and just give it a title of videos, add to menu. And the backslash videos links I'll show you is actually where you can browse all of your videos. And then I'm going to go video categories. And I'm just going to add the main three underneath the menu videos. And make sure you check this box as the main menu. Click save. Now if you go back to your website and refresh, you should see and you notice that the colors of this matches the accent color that I sent or that I set in the customization area. And you can click on these and they will take you to the different, different pages. And the last thing I want to do is show you a couple of the widgets, widgets that come with this theme. So I'm just going to put a search bar in the right footer. I'm going to put video categories in the left footer and in the middle footer I'm going to put recent videos and just show one. I'm also going to put recent videos in the video sidebar. I keep it at five. You notice that there's different sidebars so obviously this video sidebar are for video pages. Page sidebar are for just normal pages that you create under this menu and the blog sidebar will be for post pages. You see that I've added a recent video tab to the video sidebar. So if I go here and I click Tears of Steel, you'll see that I now have recent videos showing. And here are my footer widgets. So these are my video categories, recently added video, and then just a search bar. Now you'll notice that if I go to the account page, some of these buttons are still green and red and they don't really match the theme. So where you want to edit those is under membership settings. And you see this is the primary color and this is the secondary color. So again, I'm going to make this the same blue. And I'm going to make this Let's just make it some sort of purple color for fun. I'm going to say save changes. Now if I review the account page, refresh it, you'll see that these primary buttons now match the theme color and these secondary buttons, the delete, the cancel, log out, are now that purple color. And that will be across all membership buttons. And I think that's it for this video. I am going to do one more video and just talk about some of the updates and features that I plan to add. And if you guys have any questions or get stuck, feel free to leave your questions in the comments below or send me an email at support at Thanks for watching.